Welcome back in guys, Trey Lowell here with Lowell Productions. And if that video caught your attention, stick around as I walk you through three simple steps that I took to make that video possible, coming up next. So a quick backstory on why we're filming Dice today. A good friend of mine over at the YouTube channel, Quackalope, I was actually hanging out with him recently at his apartment and happened to stumble across these amazing dice. And I'll be honest with you, as somebody that doesn't really play board games, it was more so the color schemes and how beautiful they looked up on his shelf. I basically said to him, hey man, if you wouldn't mind, I'd love the chance to film these dice. This might sound backwards, my first step that I actually took in regards to this video was finding music that I thought fit the kind of environment that I was going to be shooting in. And there are a couple of royalty free sites that I like to use, one being RFM, just type that up in the search, hit enter, and they're gonna be the RFM royalty free music. Now, what I recommend here is that you search through and find something that maybe catches your attention or fits kind of the theme or vibe that you're trying to put off for your video. Okay, so now for tip number two, which I actually think could probably be the most valuable now that we have our music. That is gonna be actually shooting footage of the dice for our product video. Okay, so some of the key things to kind of look for, whether you have a nice camera or you're just using an iPhone or a GoPro, is really going to be, I think, getting a diverse kind of portfolio of shots in regards to the product itself. Now, I think we need to shoot some tight shots. I think we need to shoot some wide shots. And I think we need to shoot some shots with some motion. So let's go ahead and first jump into tight shots. Taking your camera or your iPhone, going to a particular dice, having a few in the background, getting nice and close. And basically what I'll then do as well is I might kind of work my way down. Don't be afraid to go above and shoot some shots. Also shooting the footage or the product from multiple different angles. So we might be real low, we might be above, and also we might even be moving nice and slowly. And just because I have an expensive camera doesn't mean that you can't achieve this with an iPhone by simply just holding it over top and going like that. And also with an iPhone, you would just be very low here, putting your focus on that front dice and you're in business. So now that we've gotten some up close of the blue, my suggestion would be step and repeat that with all the individual dice themselves, which is what I did for the video that you guys saw. So to round out step two, we have covered that we would be shooting each product individually, tight shots, wide shots, moving shots, and steady shots. Don't forget that if you do have a tripod, bring that into play for your steady shots as it's going to just be a lot nicer footage than handheld. And you know, you can kind of zoom in if you have that capability, rather it be your phone or your camera. The other thing that I like to do in a lot of my videos is taking one shot and turning it into multiple different looking shots. So an example being is if I were to just take a video footage of just what you see right here, it's going to look like one thing in the editor. Now, once we get into the editor, we can zoom in. So maybe we actually change the shot from a big wide shot into more of just the dice here and the background. Or let's even zoom in and then shift. So we're maybe scaling it over to the left or the right to kind of literally change the look and feel of that shot. I just want you guys to consider that when you are filming, that not everything that you absolutely use 
or film has to be used. I actually think you take what you filmed and you use it and you also manipulate it. So you can take one shot and turn it into five or six different ones. So those are three quick examples and steps that I take typically when shooting product video or photography. I hope you guys find that useful and I wanna give a special shout out to the guys over at Gatekeeper Games for allowing me to film these awesome dice and for my buddy Quackalope challenging me to film and edit that video that you saw on the front end. And hey guys, it's Trey Lowell with Lowell Productions and if you like the content I keep creating on this channel or you're new to the channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button and if you like this particular video go ahead and hit that like button and as always I will see you guys in the next content video. Quackalope, gracias for the dice. I'm actually gonna find a way to put some of these in the back of all my sets especially once you send me those hunter green dice. Can't wait for those.